is your unconscious mind so powerful that when you declare, this is what I want, it begins to be everywhere. Hey, welcome to the Tom Ferry Show. Have you ever set a goal that you didn't follow through on? Have you ever set a goal that you didn't achieve? I know the reason why. We've all been there before. I've done it myself. We write down, you know, I want to have a six pack abs, right? Or I want to, you know, earn X amount of dollars. The challenge is, my friends, if we don't alter the way we think, if we don't condition our unconscious and conscious mind to be in alignment, if we don't shift our identity to believe that we are the kind of people that can, those goals become just a wish. So today, I thought I'd share for you, for the first time ever, the seven steps that I go through when I'm looking to set a big, meaningful, significant goal to really move the needle and become the kind of person I was meant to be. So listen to me from a totally different perspective. We've all talked goal setting before, right? You know how to do that. You know, you wanna be specific, you wanna be measurable. We'll say a little bit of that stuff but I want you to listen for the little hacks, the little things that we do that ultimately create that emotional connection that we align ourselves to go out and be that person and achieve what is truly possible. So let's get the obvious one out of the way. Number one, you gotta have a very clear, specific goal, right? You can't say to me, gosh, Tom, I wanna lose some weight, because then you don't want to say to you, good, come here, real fast, take your arm, cut it off, congratulations, you achieved your goal. You would say, Tom, that's insane. But I would tell you that if you don't tell me I'd like to lose 10 pounds or I wanna be a size seven or I wanna get a 32 inch waist, if you don't give me a specific and measurable goal that I can hold you accountable to and your unconscious mind understands, you're not gonna achieve it. Don't tell me you'd like to make more money, I can give you two cents and you achieve your goal. You need to be very specific about what you want, ultimately why you want it, and the real hook is, you ready guys? You gotta be super clear on when you wanna achieve it by. So that's number one, right? That's the easy part. You've done that before. I wanna earn this much, I wanna sell this many, I wanna go on these trips, etc. That's the no-brainer. Here's the hacks that help me become the man I am today. Number two, you create a vision board for all the things you wanna achieve. Now, you've heard that before. You're like, wait, Tom, come on, that's your secret hack, like a vision board? We've all done this exercise. Pull out all the cool magazines, cut out all the great photos, put it up. No, that's not what I'm talking about. My vision board shows me in action doing the things that help me achieve the goal. That's the hook. So yes, I've got the monetary things, I've got the experiences, but it shows me on the phone. It shows me in front of you know 2,000 people doing a seminar. It shows me doing the work, writing the book, creating. I want to ingrain into my unconscious mind, do the work, achieve the goal. Do the work, achieve the goal. And since we're all visual, if I show myself what it looks like, making the phone calls, achieving the income. Making the phone calls, going on appointments, showing a visual example of all my appointments that I've done for the year in advance, Create a vision board that shows you doing the work, not just the results. Does that make sense? I look back to my book, Life by Design, and it was the first time that I did this. So now we're going back to 2009, 2010, when I actually created a visual of everything that was going to happen to achieve the goal. And it literally looked like this giant S turn going down a mountain as a really slow skier. First it was, I need to come up with the idea. Then I need to find the author that's gonna actually write the book for me, because I can't write. Then it was, I'm gonna put together all of the information about what the book is, how we're gonna sell it, so we can sell the book. Then I'm gonna go, and I had a photo of me like in New York, like meeting with publishers, you with me? I hadn't done any of this yet. Then I actually created an imaginary check of a quarter of a million dollars that I was gonna get as an unpublished author from people, right, saying, yes, we want to buy your book. And guess what? I achieved that. And what was fascinating is when my wife said to me, baby, you got exactly what you wrote down on that vision board, you should have asked for more. But that's a totally different conversation. You get the difference, right? It's one thing to write up a Rolex watch and a fancy car and a beautiful vacation and you know a, a physical body that you wanna look like and you cut your head off and you put it on there. All of that is fantastic, but it's not showing you doing what it takes to get there. That's number two. Number three is you create the daily discipline of visualizing yourself achieving the goal. That's number three, creating the daily discipline of visualizing yourself achieving the goal. How many times do we have to hear 
the story of this incredible you know, athlete who said, she said, I just kept seeing myself doing it over and over and over, winning the match, closing it out, finishing the race, celebrating with a gold medal, and they do it so many times that it becomes real. And then in the moment when they achieve the victory, they get the gold, they win the championship, in their minds, they're like, I've done this a thousand times. There's something powerful about conditioning your unconscious and conscious mind to see yourself producing the result, to see yourself closing that final sale, to see yourself saving the money, paying off the debt, achieving the physical goal. The more you can see yourself doing it, the more you're activating your reticular activating system and you're shifting your identity, how you believe about yourself. That's the game. So that's number three. When should you do it? First thing in the morning and do it again at night. Spend five minutes, just close your eyes and just see writing your 50th contract. Close your eyes and see yourself with the physical body that you're working towards. Close your eyes and see the savings account that you were able to create, the joy and the happiness of your family on a wonderful vacation. Seeing it over and over and over makes it real. Number four, convert your goals into affirmations. Now I know, you know, people, oh, affirmations, you know, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. That's not what I'm talking about. I actually do affirm, affirm actions where I get my physical body involved, but I'm going to give you the old school hack, the thing that I've been doing for several decades that really ingrains it in my head. So the first thing is, look, you're going to take all of your goals and you're going to turn them into a positive statement as if they've already happened, right? You don't want to say things like, I'd like to earn a million dollars. Instead, you have to say, I earn a million dollars and everything I do creates that perfect end result. That's a really good affirmation. I earn $80,000 and everything I do creates that perfect end result. That is a beautiful way to shape your affirmations. I earn X, right? I weigh Y and everything I do creates that perfect end result. Now there's something magical to converting your goals into these positive statements that, again, we're saying over and over and over and over, and we know as human beings, we've got 40,000 to 60,000 thoughts a day. Did you know that? Did you know that you have 40,000 to 60,000 thoughts a day? The question is, are you programming your mind for what it is that you want? Are you taking the time to say, I attract this, I do this, I am this, or are you saying, oh, I'm having a bad day, my back hurts, I think I'm getting a cold. Those are all affirmations as well. So we wanna take our goals and turn them into affirmations. And if you wanna to take to the next level, use the power of Baroque classical music, Vivaldi, Handel, Pachelbel's Canyon, all these songs that you know, and guess what? You take the beautiful music, you're recording that, and then you overlay it with your affirmations. And then you know what you do? You listen to it at night. You listen to it first thing in the morning as you're going to sleep. Hear that beautiful, you know, da, 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 right? With your affirmations in the background. I earn $1 million and everything I do creates that perfect end result. Matter of fact, it was funny. I was in Europe recently and walking through a little tunnel and there was three people playing the violin and the cello and they were playing some of this beautiful, I think it was actually Vivaldi. And I turned to my wife and I said, I am a goal achiever. I am a happy person. I actually was doing my affirmations because I'd heard that song with those affirmations so many times that just hearing the music, I immediately started reciting my affirmations. So that's number four. Number five, activate the reticular activating system. Activate the reticular activating system. We've all heard of this before. You have it, I have it, we all have it. It's, a, it's just a human gift. It goes like this. You decide, I want a new car, right? And you're like, I want a new car. Well, you see cars every day, so that's no big deal. But the moment you say to yourself, I want that gray Lexus with the really cool rims, what do you begin to see everywhere? You're watching television, there's a gray Lexus, and oh, 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 right? You're driving down the street, gray Lexus, gray Lexus. You'll see a white, dirty Lexus and you'll go, that's kind of gray, it's the same thing. Now, is the Lexus dealership in your marketplace so good that they've tapped into your phone and your brain and they know you want a gray Lexus? Or is your unconscious mind so powerful that when you declare, this is what I want, it begins to be everywhere. You see it in magazines, you see it in television, you see it driving down the street. That's the reticular activating system. So what I want you to do is when you see your goals in front of you, acknowledge it and celebrate it. There it is, that's my Lexus. 
that gal's pretty lucky. She's driving my car right now. Soon I'm going to be driving that car, right? Oh, hey, look at that guy. He just closed 50 transactions. I'm doing the same exact thing. I'm celebrating and acknowledging these are my goals. I'm recognizing that power of the reticular activating system, doing all these exercises and acknowledging when I see it in my presence. That's number five. Number six should be an obvious one. If you spend time with goal setters and goal achievers, you become like them. If you spend your time with energy sucking vampires and complainers, you become like them. Now, I'm just saying to you, it is, it, it's, it's the law of familiarity, right? We become like the people we spend our, the most of our time with. So if you're a goal setter and you're striving to achieve greatness in your life and you're surrounding yourself with a bunch of slugs and slugettes, it's gonna be a battle versus a little more easy flowing, a little more joyful, a lot less resistance when you're spending time with people that are moving forward in their life. So maybe you gotta share this video with a few people that you love and do a little mastermind session in a brainstorming and a goal setting session and start working on these principles together. But the last one, the thing that is ultimately the secret sauce, the reason why so many people like you have been able to achieve extraordinary things against all odds, barely got out of high school, you with me on this? The reason why we're able to do this is because we stay in massive action. It's one thing to say, I wanna lose X pounds or I wanna weigh X or I wanna earn Y. If you don't do the work, it's just a fantasy. So take these seven principles and ask yourself, what have I done in the past? What have I not done in the past? And what if, what if, what if you did all seven for the entire year of 2019? I know it's gonna happen. Not only will your life be by your design, you will achieve your greatness. And that's my hope for you. Wishing you much success. Share this with a few friends. Remember always, your strategy matters. And now more than ever, your passion rules. See you soon. Hey, it's Coach Tom Ferry. Have you been considering hiring a coach? If so, click the link below and check out what we do.